Okay guys, so I'm trying to explain to you what I'm talking about. Basically, let's say that's, you know, no electricity and this is a graph of voltage. So AC electricity is basically like this. It's going up and down. The voltage goes from positive, you know, 110 to positive to negative 110. So there's like a 230 volt change. It's bouncing back and forth. Um, this type of electricity allows you to you know, have different windings of coils and changing the voltage um, over uh, electromagnetic uh, forces. That's called AC electricity. This is the way we transfer electricity from one place to another. Then there's battery electricity, which is basically, if this is the line, the voltage is just here. And when you put a load on it, it drops a little bit and then it comes back up. And you charge it and then it discharges, whatever, but it's all staying on one side of the line. So these are the two types of electricity that we have in the world. It's basically AC electronics and DC electronics. And there's ways to convert from this form of electricity to this form. So basically, if you want to convert it, you'd put like a diode. That's a one-way valve in electricity, and that would just cut out this second half of the pulse. And then you put a capacitor, and that's how you'd go from AC to DC, because the capacitor would take up some energy from there and some energy from there to make up for the time when there's no electricity so basically you'd end up with a line that's something like that um, that's what a uh, AC to DC converter does um, the third form of electricity which is gravity so gravity is basically DC electricity and a little bit of AC electricity it's sort of like this this is our flat line you basically shoot all the way up you have a pulse and then you shoot all the way down. And depending on the speed of the pulse, you create a gravity wave that way. The speed of the down, you also create a gravity that way, wave that way. But the speed of the pulse depends on the time. So if you had a pulse that was like, let's say it went up really quickly, and then it went down like, sort of like that, at that angle. Um, and this pulse time over here was Let's say that was 10 milliseconds or something like that. And this space over here was 90 milliseconds. So what would happen is the pulse that is this way of uh, gravity, the gravity pulse that went that way, would be, let's say, at 100 power. The pulse that goes this way would be at much less than that because what creates the gravity pulse is not the voltage, it's not anything related to the voltage. It's related to the voltage's speed um, change over time. So if you had, so let me put the light back on. So if you had a um, a very short pulse, even with low voltage, you can you can create um, gravity. When you have high voltage, it gives you more time to uh, to make that pulse, because. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to work at, at extremely high speeds. Um, and then so long as you allow the discharge time a longer time than that, the pulse backward, because there's inevitably going to be a, a pulse backward, would be nowhere near as strong as the pulse forward. Also, they found um, that every time you cut the uh, milliseconds of uh, the time over the voltage change, so if, if you did, um, if you reached the peak, whatever that voltage is going to be. Let's say that's a million volts. Um, if you reach the peak in five milliseconds, the power, the gravity pulse, would be not just two times stronger, it would be ten times stronger. So it's like an inverse hockey puck uh, sort of effect. Um, so this way, the 90 millisecond pulse backward is not just ten times weaker, it's a hundred times weaker. So it's only like one-tenth of uh, the pulse that way. So basically what we're going for is a very quick pulse upward and then a slow discharge that way. And that will create a gravity pulse on the craft, and that's how you fly. These are the three forms of electricity. You got AC, DC, which is what we have in batteries and all that type of stuff, and then you have gravity. Um, this actually happens naturally inside of an atom. Um, if you have an atom spinning, you have the little electrons that go around it, the electrons are turning toward you and creating like a, a voltage pattern. 
um, and they do that in every direction. So they're creating like a spike when it, as it's coming toward you, and then there's like the tapering off. That's why mass has gravity. It all fits together.